Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a January favourites. It's really near to the end of January. Well, it's the thirty. It's the thirty first today, so we're at the end of January. Um, and I've got quite a few new products to share and some that have been with me for a while as well. So I'm going to just jump straight into it. So the the first product is this foundation. So this foundation actually joined my collection a few weeks ago and it's the W7 Genius Foundation. At first with this foundation when I started applying it to my to my face it didn't give me good coverage at all. Then when you let it sit there for a while and it dries on your face it's good coverage. So at first this was a no for me and then when I kind of blended it in and, and then looked at it a few hours later it looked amazing, it looked flawless and I actually have it on right now and I really love this, this foundation, it's actually really good so this one is, I don't even know the shade of this one, oh no I do, this one's in natural beige, I think if I were to do it again and buy this again I would get it in a bit of a darker colour um, because I'm a bit tanned. But yeah, this foundation is really good and really cheap as well. Another foundation that's been with me for a while um, is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Concealer. What I love about this, this product is the applicator. I love the applicator wand. It makes it so easy for me to apply this to my face. It blends in so nicely. It, it leaves your face looking amazing. It looks really satin and and not matte, not too dewy, not too like matte, not too dewy, just like a really nice satin look and this foundation is really really good. Before foundation, um, I never really used a primer you guys, I always just kind of used a little bit of um, setting spray as a primer just to kind of like moisten my face up a little bit and I'm shocked at this, this is actually by really, I don't even know this brand, it's by Colour Pro and it's strobe perfect. This primer is an illuminating primer and oh my goodness, does it make a difference? Yes it does. I never really thought primers made that much of a difference but this product makes a lot of difference. It's a very illuminating product like you can see here, it's very illuminating and I've actually got it underneath this makeup. The thing is with this is it re really makes my... I feel like it makes my makeup on, makeup stay on a lot longer, which is what we want, and also it goes on a lot nicer, so this product is very, very good. Moving on to, we're saying with face, but moving on to something that I have to kind of get to you guys is, I am astounded by this highlighter. I saw this in, I don't even know where it was, Superdrug, and I just wanted a highlighter that was kind of pink for a certain video, like a kind of pinky gold, because um, all of mine are like... Either really colourful from Makeup Revolution or plain gold or just like white and blue and stuff. Um, this one is by Wet n Wild and it's from the Mega Glow collection. And yes, it does Mega Glow. It's amazing. This is in the shade Precious Petals. You guys, I have it on right now. It is gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to go and get more. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna go and buy three more just so I know I'm never gonna run out because I never want them to stop doing this highlighter. It's the most prettiest colour ever. It comes out so nice. It proper gives you a glow. I really recommend this highlighter to you guys if you just want something that's kind of pinky gold. It's beautiful. The next product is by Sunkiss and these are some bronzing pearls. I've been using these for my bronzer lately and I really love them. Um, they're like these little pearly ball things and they're really good. I like to use a big fluffy brush and apply my bronzer that way. But also what I've been doing with this um, is, I don't know you, I don't know like if you guys tan, but when you tan your face goes paler first for some reason, I, I don't know. But um, I've been using this to kind of get a base for my face at the beginning. So say if I've got a bit of a tanned body and I've got a bit of a paler face, I'll just use a little bit of this and just take it across all of my face and then it'll just make it a lot more bronzed and then then apply my foundation and it just works, it makes everything blend in really nicely so these are really really good, I'm going to link everything down below but they're called the Jumbo Bronzing Pearls this concealer is the best thing in my life right now um, this isn't new to me, I've had this for quite a long time but I've repurchased it lately this is the only concealer that I've probably repurchased four times. 
it's definitely worth it it's the Maybelline fit me concealer it's so good I have it on right now the formula is so good the coverage is really good but this concealer is amazing like I was saying to you guys it's the formula is really good the consistency is really good it doesn't like crease or anything it's really really easy to apply I love the applicator wand I'm all about applicators I like it I like it to be easy I'm not really into concealers where you have it in a tube and you have to put it on your hand and use a brush I love applicators like this so this is a definite must and I will carry on repurchasing this for the rest of my life. I love it so much. The next product is, I don't know if you guys have noticed in my vlogs, if you follow my videos, I wear a lot more liquid lipsticks now and it really does take a toll on your lips. So this is the lip balm that I've been using lately. This is the Carmex um, Cherry Lip Balm in this tube. This lip balm is the only thing that works for me. I get really, really dry lips at the top here, right in the middle. And this is the only thing that's ever really worked for me. It keeps them really soft and I always apply it whilst I'm doing my makeup and also just before applying liquid lipstick and it works a dream. Moving on to um, more like eye makeup. The, the palettes that I want to share with you guys are, are actually new to me. I got these for Christmas. This one is Makeup Revolution and it's called Reloaded Neutrals Number no. 2. The colours in here are so pretty. You can create an everyday look with this. You can create full glam, baby glam. It really doesn't matter. You can do anything with this palette. I love the colours. The pigment, it, the pigments in this palette are really good. I've also done swatches of this over on my Instagram. So if you're interested in seeing that in full view, then um, that's my Instagram. I'll pop it up on the screen. And also I've done a full review on my blog. But this palette is beautiful. I love that pink colour right there in the middle. Oh, gorgeous. The next um, eyeshadow palette is by, again, by Makeup Revolution, and this is called Mermaid's Heart. This palette is not your everyday makeup. This is more if you want glam. <laughs> this palette is gorgeous. Um, excuse me, I've swatched it loads, but excuse the mess. But this palette is absolutely stunning. These blues are really pretty. Um, I'd slub every single colour in this palette, but it's not an everyday look unless you're really bright and out there. But this is really good if you want to um, do a really nice makeup look with blue or gold or anything. But the pigment on the on the colours is just oh my god, it, it blows me away. Like go and check my swatches out. In fact, I'll put a picture up of my swatch right now. That is this palette. It's the swatches are incredible. It's gorgeous um what i've been doing with this palette because i didn't really know what to do with it because it's just so vibrant i've been placing this um blue color in the middle of here like just a pop of blue and i'm going to do a makeup tutorial on that because i've been asked but you could do a lot with this palette but you've just got to be brave because it's very very vibrant the next products i'm going to share with you are these two brushes and basically I never really invested in a stippling brush before, I've always just used a beauty blender but what I've been doing after applying my makeup is been using a stippling brush and just kind of blending everything out a bit more nicely and this is a really really good brush, I don't know the name of it because it's rubbed off but it's from Real Techniques and it's just pretty much a stippling brush um, and I just basically take everything away, it's really good to kind of blend down your neck and just make sure all the concealer and stuff's blended in. It's such a good brush. And then the next brush is by Unicorns Heart Cosmetics. And this brush is, this only gets used for one thing and one thing only. And this is to sweep away any baking or, or powder of any sort or carving out contour and stuff because this brush is really, really flimsy and fluffy and it really works for sweeping anything away. But this brush is, is one of my favorites. I'll be lost without this. Moving on to lips, um, these are the colours you are going to see me wear for the longest time. I probably will carry on wearing this until summer comes around, unless anything else jumps out at me. These are by W7, and I've never really gone with W7 lip products before. I've always kind of gone with Anastasia, Beverly Hills, or um, I think like L'Oreal and stuff. But you guys this color that i have on is just so it's so me it's so autumny and and winter it's just it's just really nice color 
the formula is beautiful the application is even better so for lip liner I've got the color rust and this is the lip liner that I've got it's such a good lip liner I've got it on now and I've got this lipstick with it as well and I just love it it's like this I don't even know it's like a pinky purple it's just so nice it, it goes so nice with any skin skin tone and I just love this look lately and then the lipstick is a liquid lipstick by W7 called Skinny Lippin and this is in the shade Apples and Pears and this is the colour that I have on right now and I'm obsessed with this and also the, you guys these are so cheap to get so cheap so rather than going to spend what I was spending on lip products I am definitely going to be going back to them guys <laughs> And then to set my powder, I've been using this product from Smashbox and this is called the Photo Filter Powder and it's in number 4 and basically it's just a powder but I love to use this to set under my eyes and also to carve out my contour as well. It's just really easy, it's got a little mirror in there as well and it's just really cute. Okay, moving on to face and hair. So for my face, these are the products that I've been using lately. You're going to probably recognise this product. This has been out for so long, but I love it. This is the 2-in-1 Cleanser and Toner, and it's by Nivea, and it's a normal and combination skin. I've been using this, but now I've had to swap on, to some, swap on something else because lately my face has not been doing me very much justice. My face has kind of broken out the past few weeks, but not really broken out as in spots from oils. It's more dry breaking out. Like, I've got this... You probably won't be able to see it very well because I've got makeup on, but under here there is a very, very big red spot right in the middle and it's really dry and it's kind of an open spot, like it's all sore and stuff. So I'm trying to use products for my face that have got a lot of moisturiser in them, like moisture in them because sometimes the stuff I use can be drying. So usually what I would use is the micellar water. Usually the products I'd use is this micellar water, but I'm not using it because it just dr does dry my skin out because it has no oil in it. It does dry my skin out. So I've been using this and this is the 2-in-1 Cleanser and Toner Nivea. Love this, you guys. I just use a bit of cotton wool and apply it all over my face. But what I would say is this does not take your makeup off. You will see it come off because it will take some off, but it will not take a full face off. You would have to cleanse your face first and then apply this because this will not remove your makeup, but it is so good in other ways. And then what I like to do as well is just go over with it because I'm saying to you guys about I really want a lot of moisture lately because my face has got very, very dry. I'm very dry around here, around my nose and also in my brows. I've always been dry on my brows, I don't know why. And also like on my chin and just more towards the back of my face as well, which is strange. But this is the Garnier Skin Active Botanical Cleansing Milk with Rose Water. I love Garnier products. I've always sworn by them. I, I, whenever they bring something out, I'm always using them. This is really lovely to the skin. It smells really beautiful as well. Anything rose water, I'm in. I love rose water. But this is for dry and sensitive skin and it's so nice. It's so gentle on the skin. It leaves your face feeling really cool and you don't have to worry about it damaging under your eyes as well it's just so gentle just everything about it is really gentle and really moisturizing and then just quickly I completely forgot how can I forget this brow product this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is the brow definer um, I'm still to try the brow whiz because I don't really understand what the difference is but I do want to try it this is the brow definer and my god you guys this has made my life a lot more easier this is basically what I've done, this is the products I've used and it's just so easy, you've got a pencil here and then you have a little spoolie at the other end and I just love how, how easy it is just to kind of do your brows and then brush through them with the same product, I haven't got to scramble for, any, for the other little brushes and stuff, it's just a really really good product and what I've found is this will stay all day and I love it because I can really work with the shape that I want I haven't got to kind of use a little brush usually what I would do is the dip brow pomade or what I've been using recently is this Revolution HD Pro brow kit 
and this is really good as well it really makes my brows look nice but again you've got to use a wax and then a powder so to be honest I like easy and simple so I've been using this Anastasia Brow Wiz and I really recommend it, it's so good. And I got mine in the shade Dark Brown, but I love how it makes my brows look. Um, also as well with it, it's such a thin, it's got a very very thin pencil, so when you are drawing them lines you don't really make mistakes. And it makes my brows look a lot more natural because it's just so thin, the pencil, rather than a big thick um, like wax or something. Okay, so moving on to hair, this is the only product I have for hair at the moment and this is the Batiste Dry Shampoo Floral and Flirty Blush. I'm sure you guys have seen this before but this is a really really good product. What I love about it is what it does, basically washes your hair, but what I love about it is, is the smell. It smells beautiful, I love it and I love the big bottles and also I think this was on sale a little while ago so it might still be but... I love the floral fragrance. I like my hair to smell nice. I like everything to smell nice. Okay, and then moving on to body quickly. Body Scrub is by, I don't even know what this brand is, but my mum got me this for Christmas and in this kit. And it's by the All Orange Tree, a brand called The Orange Tree. And it's, um, I can see your hair somewhere. Oh. It's the Orange Blossom and Neroli with Honey Extract. So, Orange Blossom Neroli Honey Extract Body Scrub. I didn't think I would like this because I don't like honey at all. Don't like the smell of it. Don't like the taste of it. Makes me feel sick. But you guys, this is gorgeous. It mostly smells of oranges, but it is very pow overpowerful, this product. I used this the other day when I was in the bath. I proper scrubbed and stuff and... Oh my god, it's beautiful. I love this product so much. I came out smelling really nice. My towels smelt really nice. My bathroom smelt really nice. Everything about, even the house, like even the apartment just smelt of this stuff. It's so nice. It's so strong. And it's a really, really nice body scrub, but it's not rough. I've used a lot of body scrubs in the past where they're very, very rough and they do leave me quite sore and stuff. This is really gentle, but I used it to kind of scrub the, the tan off that I had because I wanted to kind of... Um, have a you know like a, a blank canvas to work with to put some tan on and I really really love this product I'll try and link it below it came in a set but I'm sure you can buy it separately but I'm really interested in this brand I want to see what else they have to offer and then lastly you guys I thought I would share my phone case because every month I pretty much change my phone case so this is by Velvet Caviar the case and it's cotton candy it's called the cotton candy velvet caviar case and it's got a really nice inside to it velvet and then it's got this really nice cotton candy marble effect it's very very protective it's really nice on my phone it's it's not really thick it's not really like chunky or anything and then on the back I've got this it's not a pop socket it's called I think it's called like a phone grip ring and it says don't effing touch me but it's really cute, it goes really nice and basically you can just pop your finger in there and hold your phone and also you can swivel this bit about and stand it up so you could like stand that up on your bedside table or whatever you want but yeah, it's really good. I'm going to link both these products down below because I love Velvet Caviar phone cases but I'll show you what it looks like on my phone. I've just got the 7 Plus Matte Black. I actually need a new phone. I don't want to get a new phone, which is different for me to say that. I always want a new phone, but I don't want a new phone, but I'm going to have to at some point because my speaker will not work. I can't go live. If I go live with you guys on Instagram, it sounds horrendous. Um, so I tend to not go live and do Snapchat videos and stuff, but I really miss doing that. So this is what it looks like on the phone itself. Excuse my screen. It's just been face planted into loads of makeup. So this is what it looks like on my on my phone. How pretty. I love this. So there we go. That's all the that's all my products that are my favourites for January. Probably going into December as well, but I haven't done one of these videos in a very, very long time. I feel like everyone's just stopped doing them, so I want to get back on it. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know any questions down below about any products you're interested in. I will try and link them all down below for you. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.